below. Did Floyd Sweet's vacuum triode amplifier have a core in the power coils? This is another topic that is surrounded with conflicting information. In the report from Tom Bearden, regarding the anti-gravity experiment, Tom Bearden reported that the VTA weight was 6 pounds and lost weight as a result of drawing more current. We reference this weight from, utilizing scalar electromagnetics to tap vacuum energy. On Tom Bearden's website, there is another plotted diagram, called Sweet VTA Anti-Gravity Test Results, the actual picture name is valonate-sm.jpg. In this referenced picture the VTA weight starts off at approximately 190 ounces which is 11.875 pounds or 5.38641 kilograms. Our VTA mock-up weighs 7.72 pounds which is 123.52 ounces or 3.501733 kilograms. Please note, we do not have any drive coils installed in this mock-up. Our magnets are the same as Floyd's, 2 inches by 4 inches by 1 half inch thick. Even though our VTA mock-up is well overweight compared to the reported 6 pound version it is less than the reported 190 ounce version. Unfortunately when we add our mock-up drive coils this pushes our weight well over the reported 11.875 pound version. This means our weight comparison to the reported versions and our mock-up version is not close enough to gleam any real information from. It's close but not close enough to make any real conclusions. Another method of gleaming information may be from the video Floyd Sweet Secrets and some pictures that have surfaced on the internet of a close-up of the VTA. Unfortunately we cannot show you the video Floyd Sweet Secrets, but there is no copyright on these pictures. These pictures show shim stocks or razor blades on top of the VTA magnets. This visual evidence is worth a thousand words, it can very easily prove a lot of information that has been floating around on the internet to be outright wrong. An extremely simple experiment can prove the fact that the permanent magnets in this version of the VTA were in very good condition and not demagnetized in any way, and that in fact the opposite is true. Experiment can prove that the magnetic field of these magnets was very strong and of high density. In this experiment, we have brand new 2, by 4, by half inch thick permanent magnets. We add our coils with no core. Add the top magnet, and to replicate the prior pictures we add two laminations or shim stocks. Here we are using a plastic container to simulate the alloy box that Floyd was showing us. Now we add three laminations to the top. At this point we can clearly see that we are having trouble standing the shim stocks, or laminations up on edge. We can get two to stand up but not three as Floyd clearly showed us in his setup. So we have to ask the question, how is it that Floyd's laminations stood up so firmly? We show here it is possible. The famous schematics all show coreless power coils and it's also of interest to note, that Walt Rosenthal said, and we quote, the vacuum triode amplifier, VTA, invented by Floyd Sweet consists of two ferrite magnets and two to four coreless wire coils. We wish to point out, what we believe to be very important quotes, Tom Bearden from his book Energy from the Vacuum, 
On rare occasions, sweet saw this effect, called self-oscillation, occur in electric transformers and also we quote from Janice Manning's book, A New Physics for a New Energy Source, Free Energy, Making the Impossible Possible, we quote, on rare occasions, sweet saw this effect, called self-oscillation, occur in electric transformers. We can see that fact here, that transformers have a core. Floyd states in his paper, nothing is something, that the source of this energy is the motionally induced electric field. We also quote again, the laws of conservation of energy always apply to all systems. However, the induced motional E field changes the system upon which those laws need be applied. Since the vacuum triode operates in dimensions more than four and provides a line between the multidimensional reality of the quantum state and a link between Dirac C we are now dealing with an open-ended system, not the closed system within which all conservation and thermodynamic laws were developed. We must also stress, in all the information Walt Rosenthal has given, we have not been able to find anything that is incorrect to date. We would also like to point out, Floyd Sweet clearly did mislead people to hide what he was doing and information that was given by those that worked with Floyd is likely information they were told and did not directly see. This in turn gives room for stories to be told that are untrue. We hope to have more information soon. Thank you for supporting our projects.